Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Otero and this is Video Waves. Now this episode is going to revolve around Destiny. Now for those of you who don't know what Destiny is, Destiny is a massively multiplayer online game developed by Bungie and released by Activision on September 9th, 2014 for the, both the Xbox and PlayStation respectively. Now the game's going to center around a player named Guardian as well as other players named Guardians and together with the help of the Traveler's Light help beat back the darkness and reclaim the Earth and the solar system. Now, Destiny did not get a great reception when it was released. Here we go. In fact, it struggled with fans and critics alike. It was quickly discovered that there was no cohesive plot to speak of, and information and storylines seemingly to come out of nowhere without no additional tie-up. It really hurt the game and players quickly abandoned it. It was a critical flop. However, cult fans and had a cult following with YouTubers such as Dado, more consoles, and My Name is By, just to name a few. Now the biggest highlight of the game had to be its raids, and there was one in particular, the Vault of Glass, that was both fun and puzzling. This was the most demanding event due to the fact that there were six players that can explore its depth and uncover its secrets. There, you faced two bosses, the Templar and Atheon. Defeating these titans gave you awards like the Fatebringer when you snuffed out the Templar, or getting that long-awaited Vex Mythoclast when you defeated Atheon, or even getting the ever-elusive Galahorn. When the new DLC was announced in June 2015, it claimed that it was going to fix the issues that originally plagued the game, which has now been referred to as Vanilla's Destiny by the game community. And during the same year, Bungie hired new writers to come up with new content for the faulting game. They tapped into previous writings from the original story and drew inspiration from there. The Taken King dropped in fall of 2015. It was quickly hailed as an improvement from the original with a revamped leveling system, an overhaul to Strikes playlist, the loot table, and a brand new raid. The biggest improvement had to be the King's Fall raid, which was challenging, fun, and an overall fun experience. In spite of this, it was very difficult for most people to play, mainly because they didn't have the top tier weapons like the Black Spindle or the Touch of Malice, which both had a long and demanding quest lines. The last big expansion coming to the Taken King will be April update that will give the players more missions and numerous ways of obtaining end game loot. It will push forward the Taken King storyline further. And unlike Destiny's past DLCs, it looks like this one will keep improving the game and not hold it back. It looks like Bungie is listening to its fans and making the grind less of a chore and more of an experience. This will be the last big update until Bungie drops another DLC in the fall, rumored to be called The Shattered Sun. It will bring new quest lines, game mechanics, and a brand new story. I don't know about you guys, but it looks like Bungie is learning from its past mistakes and fixing the once broken game, as well as giving it the attention it deserves. Now, there's a ridiculous amount of stuff that I could talk about when it comes to raids and strikes, but I have a date with Destiny. My name is Carlos Otero, and this is Video Waves.